this video is to show uh, the command uh, uh, flat shot on how to create a 3D uh, uh, 2D drawing from 3D uh, object. All right, so this is the uh, object that we have been using in our example so far. So if we were to use this uh, section plane and under it this, you will see uh, this, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, flat shot. So if I were to click on flat shot and uh, this dialog box will come out. So you insert a new block. So a new drawing, and uh, let's say the first example, we will not introduce the obscure line, which is the hidden line. So we leave it empty. So we say create, and uh, so we can place our drawing here, and we press enter a few times to take the default value, including the angle. So that is the 2D drawing uh, from uh, our 3D uh, object. Yeah, so if we were to uh, turn it a little bit, so that would be the drawing for our object. Yeah, okay, let's say we go back to our uh, view just now. So, uh, and then we want to do another uh, flat shot based on the same object, but this time around we want to show the obscure line and uh, the hidden line we want it to be. Uh, a different color and magenta and the line we want it to be the hidden line so I will choose the hidden line and I say if it's not available you can just create uh, you can just load the hidden line so uh, you uh, if it's not available you go to others and then uh, from here you can load and then bring the hidden line into the, to, into the, the drawing okay so if we say create now so if I were to place it here and press enter the default value, so that's the difference between the two drawing. Yeah. So yeah, you can see the one is with the hidden line and the other one is with no hidden line. All right. So uh, let's go back and 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 if we can get other drawing from here. If I were to say I want the uh, front view, yeah? so let's say I want the front view and I try to make it smaller. Okay, so uh, you, as you can see just now, the drawing now is uh, the, the, the isometric drawing uh, was all flat because it's all on the same plane. So now I say I want to create a flat shot uh, and I say create, yeah? including the hidden line and I can place it here. Yeah, and I press enter three times. So that is the uh, front view uh, of my object. Yeah. So uh, if we was to say I want the top view, uh, the top view now. So I can create using flat shot, and I just go create, and uh, maybe I place it somewhere here. Okay, and I press enter, and that is my. Uh, top view. Huh? What about the side view, the right side view? If I were to create the side view, uh, I would just say all right and I'll put it somewhere here. Somewhere here. Huh? And I say okay. So that is my front view. Huh? Uh, that is the side view. Okay, let's go back here and see. So now I have all the views. Let's say I delete this one without, without the uh, hidden line. So I just uh, move this object around. So I just move this one. So I do this, enter, and I place it back. I just turn off the auto. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, and this is disturbing here. Okay, so I just uh, I just turn off the auto and I move this. So I move it back somewhere here. Okay, and then uh, and then I move uh, this. Uh, oh, it's still there. Eh? Oh, it's still. So I move this 
enter. Okay, I put it somewhere here and enter. And the front view, I'll move it like that, a little bit up. So, sorry. Um, okay, enter. Okay, so I move it a bit there. And the top view, I will just move it slightly closer uh, to the object. So if I were to turn around the object now, so you can see the top view, the front view, and the side view is all here uh, in 2D format. All right, I think that's all for this uh, video on 